Welcome once again, my friends, and thank you for stopping by to listen to an old storyteller. Today we have a story from Nigeria, and the title of this story is The Lucky Fisherman. In the olden days, there were no hooks or casting nets, so that when the natives wanted to catch fish, they made baskets and set traps at the riverside. One man named Akon Obo, who was very poor, began to make baskets and traps out of bamboo palm. And then, when the river went down, he used to take his traps to a pool and set them, baited with palm nuts. In the night, the big fish used to smell the palm nuts and go into the trap, when at once the door would fall down, and in the morning a con obo would go and take the fish out. He was very successful in his fishing and used to sell the fish in the market for plenty of money. When he could afford to pay the dowry, he married a woman named Iyong, a native of Okuni and had three children by her, but he still continued his fishing. The eldest son was called Ode, the second Yambi, and the third Atuk. These three boys, when they grew up, helped their father with his fishing, and he gradually became wealthy and bought plenty of slaves. At last he joined the Egbo Society, and became one of the chiefs of the town. Even after he became a chief, he and his sons still continued to fish. One day, when he was crossing the river in a small dugout canoe, a tornado came on very suddenly, and the canoe capsized, drowning the chief. When his sons heard of the death of their father, they wanted to go and drown themselves also, but they were persuaded not to by the people. After searching for two days, they found the dead body some distance down the river and brought it back to the town. They then called their company together to play, dance, and sing for twelve days, in accordance with their native custom, and much palm wine was drunk. When the play was finished, they took their father's body to a hollowed-out cavern and placed two live slaves with it, one holding a native lamp of palm oil and the other holding a matchet. They were both tied up so that they could not escape and were left there to keep watch over the dead chief until they died of starvation. When the cave was covered in, the sons called the chiefs together, and they played Egbo for seven days, which used up a lot of their late father's money. When the play was over, the chiefs were surprised at the amount of money which the sons had been able to spend on the funeral of their father, as they knew how poor he had been as a young man. They therefore called him the Lucky Fisherman. Thank you once again for listening to this story. If you enjoyed this story, please press that like button. Also, please help an old storyteller out by subscribing to my channel. The next story will be posted in a few days, so until then, may your story continue to be a good one.